Hi guys, my name is Dr. Sailesh Gupta. I'm a laparoscopic bariatric and robotic surgeon in Max Preparedness Delhi. I welcome you all to Mastering Bailey Insufficient page by page. And today I'm going to present a lecture on tissue engineering and regeneration. This lecture is divided into two parts. I'm going to do, uh, present a part one today, right? This topic is very complex topic, right? And if you read Bailey, I have uh, made this topic from the Bailey. This is given in a very complex way. And trust me, it is difficult to read and it is more difficult to teach. So, but my aim was to simplify it and to present the main point of the chapters. So, uh, uh, please enjoy the lecture. So, this is a quite a uh, complex topic uh, and difficult topic to teach also. But I have tried my best to present in as simple and as basic as possible, right? So, this will be the flow of the lecture. Uh, I have taken the text from the Lovin Bailey. This chapter has been taken from the Lovin Bailey. And uh, I have simplified the text and put the figure table and boxes in more objective manner. They will be some MCQs in pretest. The answer will be given in the post test. And you can find the answer in the uh, theory. So these are the things we are going to learn today. Opportunities, examples of tissue engineering and regeneration in practical aspects, source of cell for tissue engineering that could be somatic cells, stem cells. In stem cell, we are going to study about adult tissues or somatic stem cells or mesenchymal stems and stomal cells. Also, we are going to study about embryonic stem cells, fetal stem cells and induced pluripotent stem cells. So, the first topic of today is opportunity or examples of tissue engineering and regeneration. So these are the few MCQs, which of the following is not listed as potential disease that stem cells can treat in the passage. Uh, cardiovascular disease, degenerative cardiac conditions, type 2 diabetes mellitus, disease of the musculoskeletal system. Question number two, what potential does tissue engineering offer beside a direct therapeutic application providing in vitro tissues for drug testing? B. Production of pharmaceutical drugs C. No additional potential D. Both A and B So, uh, now comes the theory Stem cell therapy has a potential in treating spinal cord injury, neurogenerative disorders, cardiovascular diseases, retinal condition, type 1 diabetes mellitus and musculoskeletal diseases Right? Tissue engineering is very important for surgeon because it focuses on the same condition, the condition which surgeon treat. So examples are like tissue engineering and regeneration can help in repair, replacement of cartilage, skin, pancreatic eyelid uh, tissue, bladder, intestine, heart uh, tissue, arteries, larynx and bronchus. So you can see that there is a wide scope of tissue engineering and regeneration in surgical field. So it is important to know that long term goal of a tissue engineering and regeneration is to replace the whole organs like liver and kidney in the future, right? So lot of research is going in this field so that in the future, in the later on, we can replace the organ or regenerate the organ as a whole, right? So along with that, it is very important that beside making a new tissue, uh, and replacing a disease organ, tissue engineering also provide in vitro tissues that can be used to test any new uh, device or it can be used to test any new drug, right? So tissue engineering provides in vitro tissue or it can lead to Manufacturing of human model, right? Real human model on which these drugs and new devices can be tested. So this is a very important area where tissue engineering and regeneration have a big role to play, right? But it is important to know that they have an advantage, but there are some certain technical, regulatory and safety challenges, right? Which limit its widespread clinical impact, right? There's some ethical issues, there are some technical issues, there are some regulatory issues and safety challenge with limited clinical impact. 
So these are the areas, these are the example of tissue created by the tissue engineering and condition they may you should treat. So this I have taken from the Levin Bailey. So tissue like skin can be make, made from the uh, tissue engineering and regeneration and so obviously it can be used in the burns patient. Cardiac muscle can be, uh, can be manufactured by tissue engineering and so that can be used in heart failure. Similarly, heart valve can be used in the uh, vulvar disease. Cartilage can be made by tissue engineering and this can be used in traumatic joint disorder or degenerative disorders. Uh, trachea and bronchus can be uh, de developed in vitro using tissue engineering and so they can be used in congenital and acquired stenosis or, uh, and can be used post resection for malignancy. Even bladder can be made by tissue engineering and can be used in uh, congenital bladder malformation and post hysterectomy. Similarly, anal bladder splinter, pancreatic eyelids, large blood vessels, esophagus, polyintestine can be manufactured by the tissue engineering and regeneration. And pancreatic eyelid uh, 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 regeneration can help in the insulin dependent diabetes mellitus. This is very, very important, right? So, similarly, small intestine, uh, small intestine in uh, vitro uh, manufacturing can help in intestinal failure or Crohn's disease or in case of cancer or ischemia. So, now the post is the uh, answer of question number one is type 2 diabetes mellitus. So, type 2 diabetes mellitus cannot be treated by stem cell therapy. Type 1 can be treated, right? Type 1 diabetes mellitus can be treated by stem cell, not type 2, right? What potential does engineering offer beside a direct therapeutic application? Answer is provide in vitro tissue for drug and device testing. This is very important. So now the next important topic is source for cell for tissue engineering. 